St. Claude Felcher with Preston Leinenbach, Otters TV. It's our series wrap-up. Evansville just wrapped up a six-game, seven-day homestand, taking two out of three against the Windy City before a long road trip. Yeah, that was a big homestand for the Otters, winning two of three against Gateway back over the weekend, two of three against Windy City, four and two, you'll take it. Obviously, for Evansville, they'd have liked to have split both of those series. However, not the case, but again, to win the majority of those games, four and two record in the homestand for 10 games in 11 days, that's huge. Yeah, and there was concern maybe the Otters were having a little bit of a skid, but then the four wins in a row, the losses bookended this homestand. But for Evansville, you saw what you needed to see against Windy City, and it makes a little bit better when you see familiar number 13 in the lineup for Evansville. Yeah, the return of Josh Allen, and the leadership is one thing, his offense is another, as well as his defense. We saw him play second base in the last two games of the series against Windy City, and it shows he still got some step in his game defensively, getting to some deep balls on the ground, making some nice plays, and then of course the hitting comes along itself, hitting a home run in the series finale. Yeah, no, and it was a bomb, and we talked to him on Otters TV. He said he wanted to hit a home run because he wanted to see the lights go off here, and they did, so that was good to see. And then Jeffrey Baez, too, also had a moonshot in the finale on Thursday that impressed. Yeah, thankfully those two are kind of a package deal, I guess, yes. for Kane County. Because, again, with the return of Josh Allen, the familiar number 13, but Jeffrey Baez, his power coming through with a home run in all three games against Windy City. And not only that, we saw his ability to play defense as well. We thought, okay, he's a bigger guy, he may have corner outfielder based on his listed position, but we saw him play center field and do a pretty good job with it. No, we did. And then the starting pitching for the most part was really good. It was a really rare outing. You know, on Tuesday and Wednesday, starting pitching put Evansville in position to win. Ryan O'Reilly had somewhat of a sluggish start, but then really settled in. Austin Gossman, you feel for him, because that was really the first you know, outing, but I think he probably wants that. Yeah, that, that's probably the first outing where, you know, maybe earlier in the season has been the case of run support, the defense behind him. This time, it's a little bit more on him. I believe, I think he would probably have that mentality and now going to his next start where he'll bounce back and be strong just as he did last weekend against Gateway. Nonetheless, again, good pitching. They at least give Evansville a chance to keep him close, keep him within striking distance, and then it pays off again with the series win. And Jacob Bolts, though, was a Screaming Eagle. Jacob Bolts' uh, former Screaming Eagle teammate came in and did a really good job of putting right. Evansville in the game. Two, two back to back outings going back to last Thursday against Southern Illinois for Bulls in relief, long relief. Once again here tonight, allowed some runs, but those weren't carried, so they're not charged to him as much. But again, eating up the innings, getting toward the end of the game, and at least saving the bullpen for, again, the long road trip, and at least this weekend, a guy at Gateway. And now Evansville goes on the road, a nine game. 10 games. Or, Forget Labor yeah, Day. That's right. So a four game series to close that trip. And, and, and we'll get to that in a four. <laughs> Three different cities, a four game series, so you no longer have the off day. And then you finish the regular season schedule here at home with six. It's going to be a very important road trip when you consider that the Florence Yalls, as we record this, are one and a half back. Remember, Evansville has that tiebreaker, but Southern Illinois, they split their doubleheader on Thursday night in Avon, Ohio. They're going to be another team to keep an eye on. And it's going to be a very big road trip. You look at this coming weekend at Gateway, you really need to ignore their record because when Evansville has gone to Gateway twice already this season back in July, Gateway's won those series. So you can't overlook the Grizzlies. Of course, next week, Southern Illinois on the road, just where Evansville was last week. Mary, uh, the Myers won that game in Marion last week. They're coming hot at the right time, really. And then Schaumburg, they're always tough. They always play really competitive against the Otters. Four games on the road up in Schaumburg. It's going to be a tough road trip, and then I think we'll really spell what kind of team this is in Evansville. When it comes to the Frontier League playoff, Chase, I always like when the Otters are playing contenders because teams like Gateway that aren't a factor in the standings, they like to play spoiler. The other contending teams you're going right. against also has some pressure. You gotta avoid the spoilers, you gotta avoid maybe playing down to, you know, the lower tier, which that'll be another test at the last home stand with Julia and Lake Erie both losing records, but that's too far ahead. But again, you just wanna stay on top of your game. So a big six game home stand, September 7th through the 12th, a Taco Tuesday, uh, education day. Education day on a Wednesday during the day, so make note right. of that. 10 05, and it's also still Senior Connection Wednesday, so you can get $2 tickets for those 55 and older. And then there's a Thirsty Thursday, there's First Responders Night, Triplets Night, and one more 
dog days of summer. So if you want all the info on the promotions for the final regular season homestand in 2021, check out EvansvilleOtters.com. Preston Leinenbach will be there. Big Red Jordan Fisher, who's filming this, will be there. And I'll be there. And don't forget that to check out our remote broadcast on the nine-game road trip. Preston's done a great job producing that. He'll be on the call for a couple of them, too. Jordan Fisher, myself, Jeff Redmond, Cole Carter will all be a part of it. So stay with us down the stretch, and we'll talk to you soon on Otters TV.